Next. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Guys, today is the day I set my mother on fire. Okay, guys, before you start, go ahead, leave all the hate in the comments. That's what it belongs. Guys, the reason I'm setting my yard on fire is because of the earlier green up. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I showed you this earlier, but I'm going to show you again. Now, last season, right around fall, I went ahead and I burned this part right here in a video. I'll link that video in the description so you can watch it. But I burned it and I got an earlier green up. Now, this is starting to green up too, but it still has that brown haze on it, which is like one and a half, two inch Bermuda. This side over here, guys, five inch Bermuda. Now, right now, it's probably down to about three and a half because it didn't shrivel up. But let me show you. Look at this. Look at this. Eliminate that. What does setting your lawn on fire do? Guys, it's going to reduce the amount of time that I need to bag, scalp. It cuts all that out. It literally burns it up. And we run over it with the lawnmower with the mulching kit. Mulch that ash back into the soil. The ash is a form of fertilizer. We heat up the soil at the same time. And thus heating up the soil what heats up the roots, which means earlier green up for you now guys understand doing this could be dangerous so byd is not responsible for your home your house or your family's life guys do this at your own risk but if you take certain precautions you could do it successfully and get an earlier green up and you're going to lower that lawn down so you won't struggle during the season now here are some of the things you may need you may need to go ahead and get you a couple of lighters guys always make sure you have on eye protection doing this hearing protection if you got it get you some gloves all right and what we have here is a water hose on standby and we have a fire extinguisher right here on standby okay guys and i have my georgia uga bulldogs you saw that national championship bucket right here about them dogs just in case we need to splash or skeet some water on spots this video is not going to be super technical real easy video guys I can basically show you step by step what I'm going to do. We're going to start from each end. We're going to burn from here, let it go up a little bit. We'll burn up there, let it burn down. We'll meet somewhere in the middle. One thing you got to do, guys, is create a water barrier. Now, I took my water hose with the uh, nozzle on it, and I skeeted water maybe about four or five feet over all the way down like that. Now, if you wonder why that's green, that's that turf paint episode i'll link that in the description also or at the end of this video here check out that now this is when it gets tricky you can see the discoloration in that brownness over there that's why i pre created a water barrier all the way up i don't have to worry about the concrete and let me answer this question right here. here's the gas line right here guys that's where the gas meter at we created a water barrier from there all the way around to about right there we're not going to burn it. We're just going to weed eat the crap out of it. Now, as far as the gas line going up through the ground, that fire is not going to get hot enough to blow up the whole neighborhood. It won't even reach the gas line to even make an impact. Now, guys, if you're a little weak on the stomach, you might want to go ahead and watch one of my other videos. Matter of fact, watch this playlist in this corner up here, guys. That'll keep you entertained if you don't want to watch me set the yard on fire. All right, guys, look, we got BYT Jr. back in the house. How does it feel to be out your first day back on spring break and I got you working in the yard? Okay. Just tell the truth. Say it sucks. I don't know. Yeah, you heard him. It sucks. So, guys, look, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Hope you got your popcorn ready. Sit back and enjoy the fight. <clears throat> Set it. We're just going to pick a spot, set it on fire. Hopefully, it won't jump over into my neighbor's yard. If so, remember, we got the water hose and the bucket of water on standby. We got a fire extinguisher up there, too. So, Chris, we just pick a dry spot and go ahead and set it on fire. My concern is 
right here on this part right here to hope that it don't burn over onto my neighbor's yard. And as you can see, that water barrier I created is doing pretty good. Now, right now it's five. Well, we start at 515, it's 519. So let's just see how it goes. Okay guys, the fire is starting to pick up. And one of the things that you, you'll notice is on the backside, you still see fire burning way back here. Now generally when I do this, I recommend you go ahead and, um, what can I say? Uh, get a water hose and skid it all over the part that you burned off. All right, I'm not gonna do the other side today may hold off on that because I want to just see how this burn goes right here. But the heat is coming. Check that out. Okay, guys, it's been burning for about five minutes. So it's burned about one, two, three. Hope my Cujo's don't catch on fire. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten feet for every five minutes so far. Remember my conditions, it's, it's not extremely hot. I think it's right now it's like 60 something. It rained a couple of days before so the soil is really damp up under. Um, I got a water barrier so that's that water barrier is holding tight. You know the only concern I really have is my uh, landscape wire. I hope I don't melt it because my landscape wire is up against the house. All right, so that juicy grass up against the house is kind of keeping it from burning too. BYD June, you got anything you want to say? So hot. What you say? I say it's so hot. <laughs> you say I suck. I say it's so hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. And you can see that water barrier I created over here, guys, kind of away from the the meter. So it shouldn't burn. It may start picking back up right in this area. Cause I want to get it close to the rocks, but I gotta watch that bush, make sure that bush don't catch on fire. For those of you asking, will it torch the weeds? It burns them, but it, it, because they're juicy, they just don't burn, slap up. But it's burning. Okay, Instagram. Fire! Don't, don't, don't. Mm. How'd that song go, Christopher? Fire! I don't. Even know what's don't know? Okay. Okay, and you can see that the water barrier worked pretty good right there where the uh, gas meter is. All 
All right, now this is a concern right here because this is plastic. Not concerned with that. Uh, that's I think that's plastic too, so I'm gonna have to pour water on top of that. Not concerned about that. None of this is gas related, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna take some water and just pull it around these two right here. I do want the burn to go through there though. So we'll, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm about 20 minutes into the burn. I got about half, half of it done. And it's looking good. It's looking good. Another benefit too, guys, if you got um, like no crane hot. fly eggs, uh, fire is very hot. Ant mounds and stuff like this, this can, can kill some of those he burning egg laying right um, side of the eggs the that have already been laid. Destroy some of them. As far as the ants, you're not gonna get rid of them. They're just buried deeper. But Why would this I do will that? help also. And look at that. Look how awesome. I'm by that fire. Looks. So what we're gonna do is once all this finish, that cools down, we take the more at its lowest setting that we can cut without it catching the ground and just mulch that ash back into the soil. And that's a form of fertilizer, guys. All right, guys, getting into the danger zone right here. BYD Junior, you got anything you want to say? Not really. Yeah, nothing? Okay. So, guys, like I said, one of the, I just repeat the benefits. I don't have to thatch. I don't have to bag. I don't have to, I, I'm still going to scalp, but I'll be scalping um, the ash back into the soil. That's going to be a form of fertilization. I'm getting letting more oxygen get to this ground a whole lot faster, too, guys. You know, a lot of benefits of doing it. A lot of people are just nervous to do it. Let me, let me, let me stop real quick because I'm getting into the danger zone right here. I got to do something. So, okay, guys, down to the like last five percent, and you can see. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. Look at that. Guys, remember, if you try this, you got to be careful. BYD is not responsible for your home, your lawn or your family's life. Do this at your own risk, guys. And you can see the last little bit <clears throat> burning. So the next thing I do is just get the lawnmower. We're gonna get the weed either. We're gonna get the stick edge and we're gonna neaten it up so the HOA won't come out here crying um, about me burning the lawn. All right, guys, comment below. Let me know if your HOA is on fire like mine. <laughs> are they gonna come out or are they not? I don't think they'll come out because I mean, I got it looking good. That side looks good after we burned it and clean it up. So I'm a, this'll look like this when we get through. That's the last little bit that's burning. All right, guys, we start burning this at 515. So what's that, 40? That's about 40 minutes. 40 minutes, I got about 3,000 square feet. Well, maybe the burn time is going to depend on how dry it is, wind conditions. Don't do this in a windy situation. Don't do this in the middle of the summer. Make sure you water your lawn a couple of days before you try this, guys. Make sure you have all kinds of stuff available i got the bucket of water a couple of water holes fire extinguisher i let all my neighbors know that i was sitting the yard on fire so nobody would call and i picked a real cool dry day um, to do it on right it's not per se um, super hot and like i said i already did this and i mulched it down and that ash got down into the soil so i should that should be greening up in a couple of weeks a little faster than most people You hear that, guys? 